Today, I want to walk you through the most important restaurant in America, Waffle House. If you haven't been to one, you may have heard of Waffle House from the viral clips that make it look like a war zone. Can I please get a waffle? But don't let that fool you. Waffle House is an American icon, a staple, and is more important to American culture than you think. Waffle House is a restaurant with great food, atmosphere, and over 1,900 locations in 25 states, and is used to gauge how serious damage is in an area so the government knows where to send help after a natural disaster. Yes, that's right. Waffle House is an absolutely insane and unique American icon of a restaurant, and I'm here to tell you all about it. Like I mentioned, Waffle House is used by the actual U.S. government as a metric to assess, usually a hurricane's, destructive power. Since Waffle Houses live mainly in the South, they're in spots that can be particularly vulnerable to hurricanes and tornadoes. So the Federal Emergency Management Agency actually partially relies on the Waffle House Index to assess damage, aside from the Sapphire Simpson wind scale. But I don't know what that is, and I don't care because this video is about Waffle House. But how can a diner chain possibly aid a government agency in natural disaster relief? Why not IHOP? Why not Denny's? I can give you a lot of reasons why not Denny's. What about Cracker Barrel? Well, that's because those chains are inferior to Waffle House in every way. Waffle House never closes. I've gone to Waffle House on Christmas Day for a few years, and it's never let me down. They are open 365 days a year, 24-7, during every holiday. The only religious holiday I need is Waffle House. So, the rare few times a Waffle House is closed, that means it's really bad news. Because they will stay open as long as they can during a natural disaster, before giving you the ammunition to create a natural disaster in their toilet. FEMA classifies the Waffle House Index on a scale, and they even talk about it on Waffle House's own website. Green means the restaurant is serving a full menu, a signal that damage in the area is limited, and the power is on. Yellow means there's a limited menu, there might be power from a generator at best, and low food supply. Supplies. Red means the restaurant is closed, a sign of severe damage in an area and unsafe conditions. After Hurricane Katrina in 2005 that devastated the New Orleans area, seven Waffle Houses were destroyed, rest in peace, and 100 more shut down. But those that reopened quickly were swamped with customers. And after that, Waffle House fully embraced their spot in society in the South, the beacon of light that they are when disaster strikes. Waffle House senior executives decided to start equipping their restaurants with emergency manuals. It tells them what to do when there's no power, or what to serve when there's a generator, but no ice. They even bulked up on portable generators, bought a mobile command center, and gave employees key fobs with emergency contacts. Their main goal post-disaster is to open back up as quickly as possible. It's a piece of normalcy that's returned to the area when you can finally get good hot food after you're left with no power. <laughs> and socialize and connect back with the community that suffered the same storm as you. According to an academic paper, Waffle House became one of the top four companies in the whole country for disaster response, alongside Walmart, Home Depot, and Lowe's. What other American diner can do that? And to compete with the grocery giant Walmart and disaster supply stores like Home Depot and Lowe's. This is a measly Southern diner chain that is changing what it means to be an American icon. Yellow and black sign that hasn't changed since the 40s. Classic diner booths and laminated menus that get greasy really, really easily. A jukebox equipped only with the best Waffle House jams. Last night I saw Elvis at the Waffle House. What could this song possibly? Waffle House Girl? And a full frontal view of your meal being made really keeps you in that mid 20th century diner feeling while getting warm, hot food for an affordable price. The restaurants are also built intentionally smaller which is something I've never noticed before, but makes sense. The CEO explains that this is to encourage interaction between patrons and employees. So instead of building the restaurants bigger, they just build more. I'm sure this helps with the vintage atmosphere as well. So besides the friendly faces, good food fast and vintage mystique, what really adds to the Waffle House atmosphere is the adrenaline rush not knowing if you're about to witness an all-out brawl. 
So many fights happen at Waffle House. The most viral one recently was a Waffle House employee catching a chair midair like it's nothing. She deflected that chair like she hit a perfect parry in a video game. We don't really know why the fight started, but allegedly she was asking a big crowd of people to leave and they didn't want to leave and then it escalated into a full-on melee battle. Unfortunately, she got fired from this, but I think she should take her talents elsewhere like teaching self-defense classes or taking up a professional fighting art. Maybe she can beat Sneeko's ass on everyone's behalf. Fights at Waffle House are so commonplace that I was shocked to read about Kid Rock getting into a brawl at Waffle House in 2007. On Waffle House's own official website. I had no idea this had happened and uh, sorry for the bad graphics and frame rate. It was 2007 CCTV after all. This is like watching a stop motion film from your high school classmate. This feels like playing as Mr. Game & Watch in Smash. All the information I could find on this altercation was through Bill Board's website that says, the customer recognized a woman with Kid Rock's party and exchanged words with her. It escalated to a physical altercation between Kid Rock and that male customer and moved outside <laughs> to the parking lot. At some point, the customer punched out a restaurant window. Thanks, Billboard. I'm left with more questions. God, I love this place. Woo, it's time for a quick lesson on Kid Rock. Let's go. Sister Belle here, verified millennial and reality TV show expert. Now, if you don't know who Kid Rock is, allow me to give you a very quick history lesson. Kid Rock is an American singer, songwriter, and rapper. In the late 80s, he began his professional career as a member of the hip hop music group called The Beast Crew. He really blew up in 1998 and became what I call a true middle American. America heartthrob. I'll never forget my third grade neighbor blasting that song and running up to me and telling me to suck it. You might be thinking, wait, isn't that that guy from that dating show? The early 2000s were known for their unhinged reality TV dating shows, which I really loved. Rock a Love, closely resembling Flavor of Love with Flava Flav, and Shot at Love with Tila Tequila. Anyway, you could say that Kid Rock coined that country rapper metal bad boy look that all the heartthrobs of the early 2000s seemed to copy. Now, back to you, Gabby. I mean, look at this. It's delicious. Looks absolutely scrumptious, as Gordon Ramsay would say. So my usual order is an all-star special. I get a plain waffle, scrambled eggs with cheese, white toast, grits, bacon that I don't eat and I give to someone else, and I feast. So whether you're drunk at 3 a.m. or going to Sunday brunch with your parents, Waffle House is always there for you with the same classic diner food at all hours of the day. The hash browns are always crispy, eggs always scrambled to perfection, waffles are soft and fluffy, and you enjoy it in this diner that transports you back in time, along with a classic item that will bring you back to the 1950s where no one else but white men had rights, a jukebox. Have you ever used this jukebox? No. Should we look at it? Sure. Nice. It's even St. Patrick's Day themed. Last night I saw Elvis at the Waffle House. What could this song possibly- Waffle House Girl? Happy birthday? There are raisins? They even have Waffle House Anthem on here. They made it onto the jukebox. The Meat Lover? There's even a song by Waffle House called Bert. Hey Bert. Sauce Master. Someone tell Post Malone. Someone else's saucin', saucin' on you. Uh, we got, they're cooking up. There's so many songs by Waffle House. What other songs by Waffle House are there? What, what other songs about Waffle House are there? And oh baby, did I not know how far the rabbit hole went. Who do you think made these songs, Gabby? Huh? Huh? Waffle House has its own record label. God, the more I research, the deeper the rabbit hole goes. First, it's timely disaster response. Now it's their own record label. I just want to waffle in a good time, but Waffle House keeps delivering when I can't eat anymore. Since the mid-1980s, Waffle House has released over 40 songs that live on this jukebox. All of different genres, like gospel, bluegrass, and for 50 years at Waffle House, we've proven that it's true. And rock and roll. 
And they've made it a point to have these numbers not feel like commercials. Both the head of Waffle House. First of all, how cute is she? Look how happy and proud she is. And a producer who's worked on numerous tracks have both made it a point to say if these songs felt too much like commercials, they got axed. Shelby White, the head of Waffle Records, says, It's about our food. It's about our people. It's about the things that happen if you just sit in Waffle House and listen to the conversations around you. We try to represent all that to a degree in our songs. This is the part of the video where I realized how far the Waffle House craze went. I really like Waffle House, but people like Waffle House enough to write songs about it for free. Not employed by Waffle House. And all I can do is sit here and enjoy it. I mean, Stand here and enjoy it. There's a famous one by Waka Flocka Flame, but I think the real musicality and passion really shines through in this country number. It's called Waffle House, of course. And just look at that album cover. I just know his favorite is a pecan waffle. I just know it. Meet me at the Waffle House. It's going down. Wow. Anyway, there's also this one called Waffle House Anthem. <laughs> And this one unironically got my head bopping, I will admit. It's a solid country banger. Of course, next to the best country song of the decade, Dick Down in Dallas. It almost makes me want to write my own country song about Waffle House that you may or may not hear at the end of this video because I already made it. Stephen Colbert and Sturgill Simpson, which are both respectively a late night show host and a country singer, for those that don't know these dudes, also wrote their own Waffle House song. And it's pretty decent. Don't sleep in the boot, saving for your bed. No shirt, no shoes, no knuckleheads. And this was all framed in an attempt to get on the famed Waffle House jukebox. In my brain, Waffle House is no competition to chains like IHOP, Cracker Barrel, the original Pancake House. You can't all be original. Although, Denny's might have better concerts. <laughs> But other than that, Waffle House is in a league of its own. What I also found interesting when researching is that Waffle House is a privately owned company, meaning you can't franchise it as easily as a McDonald's or something. What also sets Waffle House apart is that they're mostly in the southeast of America. But while most fast food chains strive to be everywhere at every convenience, and while Waffle House has spread to 25 states, they're not everywhere and don't intend to be, which I found interesting. Since they're an Atlanta-founded restaurant, in Georgia, alone, there are over 400 Waffle Houses and over 200 in Atlanta in one city. But usually when I'm in a pinch and don't have time to cook, don't want to spend an extra $20 on delivery and don't want to leave my house, which is most of the time, I have Factor. Factor meals have been my absolute favorite, especially during lunch on weekdays when I'm being held captive by my editing software. They're not frozen meals, they're fresh and are ready for your little consumption nom 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 in just two minutes. And now they're owned by Hello Fresh, so I'm not cheating on one or the other, baby, it's an open relationship. I also love their smoothies and had to literally remind myself like seven times to get footage of the smoothies before I drank them all because I just kept, I just kept drinking them. They also have meal options for everyone. I got the keto meals this week just for fun. I don't even practice keto, it's not part of my religion. But I was feeling a little adventurous and it reminded me how much I like zucchini because I never have the time or patience to make zucchini. Get Factor and enjoy eating clean without the hassle. Not that one. Head to Factor or click the link below and use the code gatekeep50 for 50% 50 off your first Factor box. Thank you guys for using my links, it keeps the channel going, and I genuinely am loving Factor, so I hope you check them out too. When I'm feeling hungry When my mom don't love me when I'm feeling sad When my wife dumps me and goes out with her boyfriend There's only one place open when the storm ends It's Waffle House They'll never let you down Cigarette. 
cash My waitress has a very strange rash All made fresh, 20% tip with cash Step over the counter for a four course whip bath Hash brown smothered and covered in cheese She took the kids and she's leaving me I'ma need bacon to the highest degree An all-star special complete divine cuisine So was Kid Rock, like, actually hot for his time? Did anyone actually think he was hot? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this song, it'll be available on my music-only channel below or probably in the top right corner. Follow me on Instagram so my manager doesn't yell at me. Okay, bye. Thanks.